again yet no lights on here it's uh, 90 degrees uh, Fahrenheit outside normally but we have a lot of humidity here in Toronto so uh, add another 10 degrees so 100 degrees with humidity yes <laughs> uh, it is 20 hours and 33 minutes into the day of Wednesday August 10th 2016 and we are kicking off the day We are kicking off the day. Uh, we could. Well, wait, I had a full day today. Uh, kicking off the kicking off the week, the work week actually. Um, I have both systems here updated. Uh, I've begun updating the systems. Uh, one of the things that you have to do when you come back from any length of uh, time off uh, north is once you get back into range of uh, <laughs> onto your regular net, onto the, the internet access. You upgrade your systems and then, because it, basically once a month you have you have to upgrade Linux. There's a lot of different odds and ends that need to be upgraded. So I did that that started that. So we've begun the work week uh, uh, today. We started it at around ooh uh, ten o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'm making arrangements to upgrade Mars Alpha. Uh, so that should happen in the next uh, uh, three or four weeks. I should have. Uh, some new options up more alpha if I can get up there and do the work I guess I'll film it and show you guys uh, what's going on and the easiest way to sort of take care of the heat here is you gotta make sure you're hydrated lots of water and I'm drinking 500 milliliters at a time uh, I got shorts on but <laughs> that's about it uh, no shock no socks uh, some sandals uh, well, very thin sandals that are that, that that keep the feet cool, and of course no shirt, and that's kind of how I'm beating the heat here. So <laughs> even though, uh, uh, yeah, so it, I've managed to keep my place about eighty degrees. It's about eighty degrees in here, so eighty degrees is still hot. It's an eighty degrees is hot. It'd be better if it's sixty. That might be sixty today. So, uh, later on tonight, so. We might sit outside and open up uh, and open up the door and uh, try to cool the place off a little bit because it should be again hot again today. But it really depends on the humidity. If the humidity stays high, there's no point opening the door because what's going to happen is that uh, uh, the humidity is going to come inside and uh, uh, it will make things miserable. The humidity always makes things worse. Uh, for those of you who are talking about global warming, <laughs> greenhouse the greenhouse gas is is water vapor. Humidity that's water vapor. It's not carbon dioxide. Just a little note on that, side note on that. So, uh, on the leisurely side, I'm catching up on uh, my uh, IPTV. Uh, I watch Bertalia, I'm watching Clintus right now. Then for the, for, uh, for Kauai Tea House TV, um, I'm setting up a whole gaming section there to do uh, Kauai gaming. Uh, sort of a, 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 a way to sort of uh, take a look at what what aspects there are in gaming for people who are interested in Kawhi stuff. Uh, there's a lot out there. Some of them is good. Some of it's bad. Uh, I think there's a lot of choice out there so that you'll have to go through things yourself. These are just sort of a, a sampling of what's out there. And I have to uh, still do the editing for uh, the uh, sort of weekends video. Basically from uh, uh, Friday to Tuesday, uh, that video has to be uh, edited and uh, rendered, so we'll be a little bit behind on our uh, video. Our video, unless this takes 
of course, this takes a couple of days to do as well. It really depends on how much content, what I'm working on. If I'm not working on a lot of stuff, then there's not a lot to go out if uh, in terms of into the editing bay. So uh, I can catch up during the times where uh, we stretch the video out because there's simply not a lot to do uh, or not a lot to talk about. So anyways, uh, I'll leave that here for now. And... Uh, well, at least we said back to the vlogging schedule. That's done. We're back on our vlogging schedule. Now let's see what else can be done as well. So, uh, uh, we'll leave that here for now. Uh, it is, uh, now it's about uh, 8.38. So, see you in the next segment. Once again, it is time to vlog. Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome back to... Welcome to the next segment of Big Bang Theory All's BTS vlog. Ooh, ooh, yeah. So let me give you a time, time and date stamp. It is uh, 14 hours and 28 minutes, no, 29 minutes, into the Thursday, August 11th, 2016. Yeah, things are back on track, more or less. Uh, it took a bit of doing because it is uh, the reason why it's so dark in here I'm, again I'm, I'm vlogging my monitor light this light is actually from, from my monitor the 24 inch uh, LED, LED monitor so this is uh, the brightness coming off the monitor and that's how I'm vlogging so <laughs> um, yeah it's uh, just about 90 degrees outside uh, with humidity, it's close to 100, so the best way to, to beat the heat is sort of uh, lots of fluids. I'm having my milk tea. Uh, I've sort of fixed things up a little bit so I can do a better job at the milk tea in terms of having it cold. I realized the best way to have it is having the uh, uh, glass in the fridge, but if you have one glass and you finish it, and uh, it, by the time you put it back in the fridge again, it's already warm for a second thing. So I have two glasses for the milk tea in there so I can... Uh, always have a cold glass and that sort of makes it uh, uh, mo that more mo that much more refreshing so uh, <laughs> uh, I've got the vlogging uh, the uh, 70 76th episode is in the editing bay I was able to vlog uh, was able to do the editing uh, in the darkness like this uh, just by modern night this is a, uh, by the glow of the monitor <laughs> so it's enough, enough there's enough light that I can get the work done. There's a bit of sort of feeling around. It is dark. I'm um, catching up on my IPTV. Everything I missed while I was uh, away on uh, my expedition. Uh, so that's getting done. You know, this is, I think this is progress by millimeter, not by inches. Uh, so things are progressing. Uh, the success part is, is that... Uh, uh, last last year, it took me uh, more than six months to get back into vlogging again. It does, you know, it, last year at this time, I got really tripped up. So this year, I didn't get tripped up. This year, I'm, I'm more or less back on schedule. Things are moving along. That means I can now sit down and work on the rest of the video production schedule. That means we can get something uh, better done this year than we did last year. And I think this is, the, this, you know, necessity in many ways is often the, the mother of invention. This is where you get become the most creative. And so basically I can't use an oven in here because it's too hot. But yet if I want something to eat, sometimes you do have to cook during the day during the heat. And so I, you always look for the the way of, of, uh, of producing a low profile in terms of a low heat uh, source. So the larger the uh, the sort of surface area, uh, like an oven, that you heat up, it's going to throw that much more heat. The smaller the surface area, uh, and this is talking about the sort of overall heat footprint, uh, the less amount of heat it's going to throw into the environment. So uh, you want to use just the essentials. And so uh, basically... Uh, I figured out how to do a pizza... Uh, on the stove top and so I'm going to try that I, I try I've reheated the pizza on the stove top already that's what I did today but I realized the mechanism that I could use the same mechanism instead of just simply heating 
the uh, heating the uh, uh, the pizza. I can actually make the pizza with this uh, with a new sort of sort of setup like this, and uh, and actually have a good have it have a good result. So uh, I'm gonna try it out. I'll see how how it ends up working out. Uh, uh, see if I can actually make pizza on the stove top. I think there's going to be a little bit of an adjustment to make here because it's not always uh, uh, as you intend it. So, yeah, it's going to be a bit of an adjustment, but things, as I said, things are moving along. Uh, there's progress, and so I think uh, things will start getting back to some degree of a schedule today uh, in terms of uh, rather than clearing the backlog from the from the vacation now we'll be starting on new material today and actually moving forward so the uh, recovery period uh, from the Mars Alpha expedition is now over and the new material begins today so uh, and as I said, this is the fastest I've ever recovered from this from from the expedition and so that means we are going to be moving ahead at that much are uh, at that much more efficiently so uh, we will get more done during the week than uh, when we first left so and as compared to last year so that is that that's definitely progress for me anyways I'm gonna leave this here uh, I'm gonna have something more to drink I just finished some work outside that's how I know how hot it is and now I've got to, uh, when I know when I'm hot like this this is when I have to go back and rehydrate uh, cool my body down and then uh, go from there on out so uh, we'll see you in the uh, next segment uh, I probably will come back later on today I don't know whether I'll see you here but I probably will be end up ending up filming a Kauai uh, 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 Tea House TV uh, I'll, I'll probably be working on the first episode uh, for that, I'm going to film it on this camera. I found this camera, to, you know, it works in the dark, but I can't use the main studio camera right now uh, because it's too hot out. So uh, that won't be coming online. The main studio is not going to be coming online back until September, uh, maybe October time frame. So uh, that means this camera, which it does a very good job in terms of the film quality, they're about comparable. And uh, uh, actually, this one is some, in some cases is a little bit better. So. Uh, I will be either seeing you in Kauai Tea House TV the, for the Kauai, living the Kauai life as I go in through some of my uh, Kauai gaming. We're getting into some of the Kauai gaming that I'm talking about. Uh, and we'll talk about the, sort of that whole bring, bringing the episode Kauai life uh, onto uh, the schedule, onto the uh, sort of one of the uh, main things you can take, you know, one of the main shows on Kauai Tea House TV. So we'll see how that uh ends up working out today so but anyways time for hydration and uh a little you know, on to clintus tv on iptv open iptv all right take it easy well hello everybody welcome back to the uh next segment of uh, big bang theory house bts vlog yeah uh we're coming up on the uh uh well not nearly the end of the day but the end of the day but sort of the beginning of the day I'll give you a uh, a time and date stamp for that. So it's uh, 17 hours and 28 minutes into the day of Monday, August four, uh, 14, no, August 15, 2016. We are past the heat wave. Uh, the system that had caused the heat wave and the... Uh, oh has moved off. Uh, I'm looking at the conditions of the heat wave still. I'm still doing some research on it. So it looks like there were several massive solar flares that initiated the event, but I have to go through and do some more of the fine detail to see exactly what went on and how it sort of played out. So uh, the research uh, into atmospheric physics has begun again, which means that you'll see me outside more. I'll be doing some vlogs outside uh, where I do my observations. So because that's the thing now, and it takes a couple hours to do the observation, the observations. Um, well, that's where I'll be vlogging from, and I'll uh, you'll have to go to the or part of the uh, vlog uh, uh, to see this. And the other, you, you know, what happens? You'll see a second separate separate vlog come up that talks about the 
particulars of the atmospheric physics research, I'm not going to bring it into the BTS vlog too much, but I'll be talking a bit bit about it here because it is part of what we're doing, part of where things are going. And the whole point of Cyborg Alpha TV Network is to bring all the areas of the network together and so that you can sort of see what's going on from one end to the other. So, uh, without, having going, without having to go to too many different places. So, uh, it's a way of sort of, uh, sort of stitching things together. And that's sort of what has to happen now is that the network will really start working this now, uh, this year, uh, because more content is going to come out across different channels now. Uh, that's what we were working on. Uh, I was supposed to work on on Friday, but I ended up having a bit of a weekend on, on, on uh, over the weekend now. Uh, I had caught up, but... Uh, some of the projects that I had been working on, some of these are some more of the repair projects. It took a little bit more time than I expected. Uh, I ended up doing a little extra sleeping, and so the time that uh, I would have spent doing the work uh, uh, sort of disappeared and uh, as I said, I set out with the idea or the goal of uh, what I wanted to achieve. Uh, I got success, uh, some degree of success, some degree of progress, but again I fell short of the goal and that's typical. You know, I set the goal, I never reached the goal, I get some of the goal done and you do the same process day after day, you know, and as long as you get some progress, some degree of progress, uh, on a day-to-day, week-to-week basis, progress is made, so, uh, that's sort of the situation here, and so now I'm just sort of catching up on my open IPTV, just sort of, uh, perusing and preparing things that I have to get done, uh, for today's schedule, and then I'll be sort of, uh, moving on from here, uh, to uh, uh, get more work done. We're a little slow on our vlogs, getting back to vlogging again. Well, the first vlog is already up uh, from being back, but uh, we're still filming the second the second episode, so uh, there was a bit of a delay in that. <laughs> so, but that's the end of the sentence. There's, there's always delays, there's always uh, uh, uncertainty that pops in and, and, and sort of changes up how things are going to be done so but then again that's that's sort of sort of be expected so uh i will leave this here for now and uh i don't know whether i'm going to be going to church tonight or what's happening so uh i'll be coming back in a couple of hours and uh i'll sort of fill you in on uh the goings on all right so i'll see you then all right bye-bye Welcome back, everybody. This is our uh, final segment for this episode. Anyways, it's been, again, a lengthy uh, episode in terms of the number of days it's covering. It's just the way things end up in terms of the amount of work that has to get done, in terms of scheduling everything in, in addition to uh, getting back to oh, some degree of... Uh, uh, normalcy because uh, before when you f finish one set of projects as I'm fin coming back from uh, uh, Mars Alpha Expedition that finishes up one set of project you now have to start scheduling in the new project so, so and figuring out which direction you're going to start going in and that's what's happening now and so it does take you know there are tangents as there usually are uh, that take you off into other different directions and then you have to sort of bring yourself back and uh, the night starts switching over, the day starts swinging around again because sometimes you get uh, working on a track and you lose track of time and uh, well, last few nights I've been going to bed oh, typically around 6 o'clock in the morning. So uh, that kind of sw swings my day around and uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, your body has to catch up on that amount of sleep. So I'm, as I'm back into somewhat of a normal schedule where things are rotating but uh so the things i have to work on is i'm working on i've begun the second uh series of observation outdoors for uh, atmospheric physics that's under the ocean oceanographic and atmospheric research institute that's uh, or 
Um, and that will be that has or has its own channel. The uh, and so that information that those videos will be posting. They'll be posting probably one or two a week. Uh, it depends on how much information I collect. Uh, I will be vlogging on that, and you'll sort of get to see uh, what's going on at what time. And you don't have to go anywhere. All you have to do is just be looking at uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network, and the order information is going to pop up here. It's going to you'll you'll see it. We'll be, we'll be posting it. So not only take a look at uh, our YouTube channel, which is uh, Cyborg Alpha TV Network, but also look at our now blog. We know. I'm now connecting the blogs to the YouTube uh, YouTube channels, and that one will give you uh, again better bearings on things. And all these channel work, all this channel work has to be done. It has to be fixed up. Uh, all the inter all the various different channels have to be sort of connected to one another. Uh, so that work actually has to get done. There's still a lot of work on that level. The sort of the administrative work has to get done. Uh, in addition to the research, I mean the, the research is actually pretty interesting. I've got a good connection. Between solar flares, uh, the so-called uh, uh, the uh, commonly called solar flares are basically uh, coronal mass ejections or CMEs, uh, and these some of these are, are absolutely large events, and they do have uh, a, a significant impact on the Earth's atmosphere, uh, so they play into atmospheric physics, and. We can sort of measure and try to see what, use that as a uh, as a means of exploring what's out there. And sort of, of course, you know, I, I'm beginning to get to a deeper focus of the atmospheric physics research project that I'm working on. Uh, this will lead me into the work on Tesla. Uh, the Tesla work, the the uh, the, the electronics bench, yet uh, hasn't been is is coming along, but it's not exactly there yet. Uh, I still have some fixing up in the front room to do on the systems there. This includes the music studio. There's some work that has to be done. That is getting done, but it's not getting done at the pace that um, it should be getting done at. There's in other words, there's a lag there. But this is the typical. This is typical. Anytime I start a project, there are things and tangents that come in that produce a lag on a project, so the project never goes according to schedule. So this is this is something that's standard. This is something that's normal, not really uh, out of the sort of uh, range for where things are in terms of oh, in terms of how they go. So I am going to church again tonight. So maybe I might vlog there. We'll see what ends up happening. Uh, that would be more uh, inclined towards our Bass Channel. The uh, uh, Bass Institute, Institute uh, Bass B A S stands for Byzantine and Antiquity Studies. Uh, that's where a lot of uh, our archaeology, anthropology, and this include, this includes the studies of a, uh, ancient cultures. Uh, and I said before, I took a look at my own backyard to see what type of ancient, ancient cultures there. Uh, understanding that my culture is Pan Asian, we're basically Asiatic Greeks. We're not uh, European Greeks, and uh, being Asiatic Greek, that opens my background, my historical background, up to uh, the ancient world. Uh, and then a lot of the things that, uh, well, basically, if you look at uh, any of the Illuminati or, or the Masonic stuff, you follow what they were what, what they were studying, what they were reading, and, and their, huge, their main influence came from the Eastern cultures, which included Egypt. Egypt, the Coptic culture, was core and central to the Masonic so, um, uh, we will be looking more into that. That's where the Bass Channel, uh, the Bass Channel comes in. The Bass TV comes in there like that, which is the Byzantine Antiqu Antiquities Studies uh, TV. Uh, that channel will look at that. So I'll be bringing my camera tonight, so to do a little bit of vlogging there, and this will sort of bring begin bring a, a, a sort of a better understanding, a better uh, introduction into. Uh, the whole environment that um, I exist in, basically, and, and where I can actually now start drawing some uh, research from, where I can start pulling information and, and getting more, a, a better, getting a better understanding of where I am in terms of uh, where my history is. 
and how it plays out on a gl more global basis. And uh, given the fact that the events that are currently going on in, in Turkey now, to understand that my family roots exist within when when Greece when Turkey was part of the uh, Byzantine Empire, this was before the Ottoman Empire, and that it was fundamentally Greek. And the Greek was not European Greek, but Asiatic Greek. Uh, well, this really gives you, okay, there's something more to look at. How to go from being Asiatic Greek to being Ottoman, and then from Ottoman to being Europe, European. So, uh, th this sort of uh, dynamic here uh, can be studied from, right from within my own backyard. It's sort of This is going into my attic and taking a look at the pictures that are there uh, and sort of fiddling around and sort of fishing around seeing what's there, what's not there, and taking it from that perspective. Uh, anyways, I think that's going to be it for now. I will see you in the, uh, probably in church tonight. Uh, that will be the first segment of, uh, will be the 78th episode. Yeah, because this is going to be uh, uh, 77, this is the 77th episode. So the next episode will be 78. So we'll see you for that. All right, take it easy. Democratic Earth. Earth.